Psalm 37, verse 4. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. So we have a great promise. He'll give you the desires of your heart. And we have a command. Delight yourself in the Lord. And the command is the condition of the promise. So delight yourself in me, God says, and I will satisfy your heart. Somebody asked me one time, should you pursue joy or should you pursue obedience? And I said, that's like saying, should you pursue apples or should you pursue fruit? Because if you obey the command, delight yourself in the Lord, you are pursuing joy. And so obedience and joy can't be contrasted like that. We are called upon to delight ourselves in the Lord. And here's a big glitch for a lot of people. You can't enjoy a God that you're not sure is for you. If you've got this niggling sense, he's against me. He's always disappointed in me. He's not going to accept me. Then to try to muster up delight in a God like that is going to be impossible. And therefore, we let our eyes run to Isaiah, another Old Testament book, chapter 53, verse 6, where it says, all of us, like sheep, have gone astray. We've turned everyone to his own way. And that sounds like, well, we're in trouble with God. And then he adds, and God has laid upon him, upon the servant, upon Jesus, the iniquity of us all. Which means already in the Old Testament, we're being taught. We have a savior. We have a substitute. We have a Jesus, a Christ, a Messiah who has borne our sins. So now when we're commanded, delight yourself in the Lord, we're standing on a very firm foundation of acceptance. God is on our side. He loves us, which means we're free. We can lay all that aside and just look at his beauties and be utterly and deeply and profoundly happy in what we see because it's totally there for us. And so Delighting ourselves in the Lord becomes the all-consuming passion of our lives, which means that it shapes the desires of our heart. If you delight yourself in the Lord fully, that conforms your heart to him, and therefore the promise is going to be true, but it's going to be true like this. He will give you all the desires of your heart that enable you to enjoy him to the full. He will give you all the desires of your heart which are rooted in and focused on him. So run to the cross, find the forgiveness, enjoy the acceptance, look at the beauties of the Lord, be satisfied in him, and then let your heart run wild with God-exalting, God-centered desires in this world.